everybody, welcome. Um, if you read the title, this is going to be a kit parade slash like stash dive. Um, welcome to my channel. My name is Cameron. I go by Cam the Stitcher here on Flosstube, Instagram, and Goodreads. Um, today is not a normal Flosstube update. Um, I'm going to be showing you all of the cross stitch projects that I have kitted up slash patterns and like fabrics that I kind of want to like maybe put together kind of just just talking with the and like theorizing maybe like what could I do with this um yes I took the teal out of my hair um it was cute for like three days and then I was like mm, nope this isn't it so I put purple in it so that it'll just fade to lavender which will just fade to toned blonde um it's just easier upkeep for like the beach I'll be in the water literally 24 7 because I miss swimming so much so anyways so that is what's happening I guess I don't really have like an organizational way to go about this <laughs> I will say I have a lot of patterns now most of them are in pdf form because a lot of my favorite designers um they sell pdfs and i prefer pdfs um but some of the physical copies i have are from designers that don't do pdfs or um i got like a little too excited at like nashville needlework market or expo or um you know, whatever. So I'm just gonna kind of go into it. And yeah, I don't know if you see anything you really like. And you want to start it with me, I guess, let me know. Um, I don't even know where to start because I okay, I have some that are fully fully kitted. I have some that are partially kitted. I have some patterns also lying around just like I think I have ideas for fabric that I have in my stash, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna, I don't know. So my organization for kits, I have these huge bags and I just like stuff a bunch of stuff in them. I don't, I live in a one bedroom apartment. I don't have a lot of room. I don't have a craft room. Um, luckily my partner does not mind that my crafting kind of takes over the living room sometimes. Um, that is my cat with her ball and yeah so it's just this is the easiest for me i can stuff these into um, a cabinet or like a cubby and is what it is so let's i don't even know where to begin <laughs> i really don't i don't know why this is stressful it's like what do you guys want to see first i don't know okay so let's do like more fully kitted stuff first and let's go with something that's recent so um, this is a project bag I made myself. Don't look at it too closely. All right, so StitchCon is happening today. Uh, today's the first day. Um, I am not there, obviously, but I am so excited to hear all the things from my friends that are gonna be there and just watching people on Instagram. And then when they come back into the recap videos, I'm gonna be like, tune in. in. But anyways, um, a lot of people are starting Away We Ride by Blackbird Designs. So I wanted to get this up really bad, but I don't know. After looking at the chart for a while, it calls for all gentle arts over dyes. I don't have any of them. Um, so I kind of went through my stash and I picked out three over dyes that I'm really feeling um, that can definitely sub in for some of these gentle arts just because I have them in stash. So I have a Roxy Floss Co. Vampish and then two Color and Cottons that I get in my monthly club here. Yeah. Um, but I was looking through and I actually, I think I'm going to use four of the DMC because there's not going to be a lot of variegation where that DMC is used. So like in the windows, I'm just going to use the DMC like, and there's nothing wrong with the DMC, but I do want to use the over dyed for like big splotches of big splotches big blocks of stitching um so yeah I think I'm gonna pick up two of the gentle arts 
and then use these three and then the DMC and I think that's it. I am going to stitch this. I believe this is 38 count parchment by Fiber on a Whim and I just got this. Um, so this is like greeny, goldy. Yeah, I'm thinking that's it. So that is almost kitted up literally just need like two um gentle arts and i think i'll be good to go and just pull dmc okay this is a series of things so if you've been watching my channel for a i guess the past few months um you'll know that i am collecting these um the snowman collector series from cottage garden samplings um, this is just the first one that's not in, still in the um, plastic, but I am collecting these. I am going to stitch them all separately, and I'm going to stitch them on various colors of 36 count. That's just how I feel. Um, I said that was 38 count. That was definitely 36 count. Ignore me. Anyways, so I'm going to stitch all of these. I subbed out any um, weeks, but I did pick... I think this one calls for Queen Bee by Classic Color Works. So I did pick that up. Um, but I'm really just pulling from stash, like color and cotton stash. So this one is the Postman. This is number four. I'm not going in order. I'm not. <laughs> That's fine. This is number six, the Gardener. She's adorable. This one's my favorite. This was number two, The Clown. If you have watched this channel, you'll know, you'll have guessed this was my favorite for sure. And then this one's really cute. This is number three, The Shepherd. This one I actually do have <laughs> fully get it up. So I have all of the DMC and then I pulled from Stash. And some of these overdyes that they call for are in several of them so that's cool so I'm gonna use this um, for the red and that one and I believe it's called for for the postman as well so like this will be used in both so I'm keeping everything together and then I got this cottage garden threads called pumpkin seed for his coat and I believe that will probably be used elsewhere um, in some of these other patterns so that's exciting. I did already start the first one. So you'll notice that that was not in the collection I just showed you. That is because it's a whip. Um, but yeah, and I think like I just have cuts. This is the same fabric. This is parchment by Fiber on a Whim, but it was an ornament cut. So I'm just going to basically like work through my 36 count um, stash and like start other projects or kit other projects up with my 36 count and then whatever's left over i will kit um these because they're not that big so they can use like leftover leftover cuts basically okay so next kitted up project this is in a um shiba designs bag so cute i've had this i kitted this up a while ago and i was like i'm gonna start it in june it's june um well, it's in the beginning of June, so like jury's still out if I actually decide to start this. But this is Junebug by Nora Corbett. I have never stitched a Nora Corbett or a Mirabilia or a fancy lady of any kind. So I did want this to be my first one because look at her. Like she's gorge. She's thick and I like it. Um... Maggie from Kitchy Whips has fully finished this and she really is like gorgeous and she's a great first Nora Corbett because she's sm on the smaller side and she only has one pack of beads and one cry neck that is called for. So that means it's much more affordable. Um, I don't know if you are like me and don't like have money. <laughs> no, like I just don't have the funds to be purchasing like full Mirabili kits constantly or anything like that. So that's why I'm like, this was, this was a good start. And if I like it, 
great. <laughs> that opens the gate for other ones, but um, for now, this is what I have. I'm stitching it on the called for 32 count Water Lily Linen by Witchelt. That smack, look how great that was photographed. Um, and then it calls for this Krynik. I don't know, but it's very pretty. And then these really cute purple Mill Hill beads. Um, and then I have all the DMC. <laughs> Not um, floss dropped up, but it's ready to go. Um, so technically I could get this started this month and I want to because it's so pretty, but it's one of those things where it's so pretty and all the little things, the accoutrement are so pretty that I'm like, why well, just want to stare at the kit? I don't want to mess anything up, but I don't know. We'll see. If any of you have Junebug and you have not started it, or if you have already started it and you haven't touched it in a while and you want to like hashtag touch that piece, um, <laughs> then um, let me know. Also, I just watched, um, I was finally catching up on FlossTube last night and I just watched X's and Ho's um, vi new video and first of all, they shouted me out and it was very lovely, but also, um, yeah, hashtag touch that piece. Anyways, that's all I'll say. So that's, so that's, if you want to stitch that with me, please let me know. Please comment down below, DM me, any of the things. All right, this one is an intimate start, um, I believe July 1st because, and I can't remember all the people, but I think I saw it on um, Shiloh's Instagram story. Um, so this is a project bag I made. This is a perfect summer project bag. Um, okay. So this is something I kitted or something I bought at Nashville. Um, this is Every Opening Flower by ben Brenda Gervais. This is the, um, oh, with thy needle and thread. Yeah. This is the first with thy needle and thread pattern I've ever purchased or ever, I don't know, like I really love it. Blue is not my thing and I thought about subbing the blue out but then I was like, Cameron, calm down. So I calmed down because the blue is gorgeous and I've seen this, um, people have already started stitching this. I think Jessica um, Saltwater Stitcher has started this and I think I just saw it on Brenda and the cereal starter as well. I think it was Brenda that started it. So it is really, really pretty. Now I have kitted it up with a Be Stitch Me um, fabric of the month. This is in 40 count and it is called Ledger. And you're probably thinking like, that's a little cuckoo crazy of you. And I would say, yeah, but like, doesn't it match it perfectly? <laughs> With like the golds and the blues and I don't know. I think it's going to be a really cute. And I have pulled from Stash. So um, Brenda calls for lots of different overdyes. Some of the overdyes are only used in like this in the bee's wings. So I went through, determined what I'm going to use DMC for because it's only 10 stitches or 20 stitches, whatever. Um, I'm telling you, if you've never done one of these charts, I would say before you buy it fully kitted up, if you are if you like to save money like I do and you like having like your overdides give you a bang for your buck, um, buy the chart first, look at the threads, look at the key, like look at the chart and then determine like what overdides you wanna buy. Um, but anyways, so I am stitching this in mostly color and cotton. Um, so let me, I'm really excited about this. So I went a little less gold on the like leaves and like the tree and the, the border and everything. And I went a little bit more green. And then I do have one gold-ish orange the blues are in they're ready to go i do like the blues and then i think this color it's like kind of funky i'm going to use that for the roof and the letters um so you're going to see like lots of 
lots of variegation there. And then this color clay pot, I'm gonna use uh, these flowers in the border here and then in the middle of those flowers. But I'll just use the, for the darker one, I'm gonna use the DMC because um, it doesn't really show up that much. So. so that is what I'm gonna do. I think I am gonna start this July 1st it's a really pretty pattern and it's one of those things where if I don't start it, I'm being like encouraged to start it July 1st. So otherwise I'm just gonna let it sit there and look at it because it's pretty. And I like like my floss and my fabric choice. And sometimes that's part of the hobby is just staring. Just like taking things out and like looking at them and then putting them back. <laughs> Anyways, so that is another fully kitted up piece. Um, I'll just pull the DMC and then we'll be good to go. Here's another huge bag. This bag is mostly, like everything's mostly kitted up or fully kitted up. So this is Berry Patch by Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, this is so cute. I purchased this at a LNS a year ago when I was at the beach with my dad and my sister. Um, so I did get all of the DMC <laughs> and then I got this mystery linen. I, I honestly don't know what it is. I picked it up at the shop and the shop, it didn't have like a huge fabric selection. This was definitely a smaller LNS, um, but I think it's a 32 count. No way, possibly a 38 or I mean a 36. I don't know. Anyways, it's just this very like linen colored linen. I don't know. But it's pretty. Um, so yeah, I have no plans to start this, but this is a very easy start and I think gonna be a very easy stitch. So I know the novel stitcher um, has stitched this up and it's gorge and it made me want to pull it out, but I was like, calm down. I may start it next spring, we'll see. Okay, so the next project I have all kitted up. This is the Witch Training Academy by Kathy Barrick. I bought this last year at Expo, I think. And I wanted to start it immediately, but yeah. The um, called for fabric, which is really, I think a big draw of this piece too, is 40 Count Seaweed by Fox and Rabbit. I cannot get my hands on that. So um, I kitted up with some fabric of the month fabric from Fiberlicious and this may not work out. So this is a tentative plan, but this is called Ashes to Ashes in a 40 count. This is very dark and is obviously a lot darker than this fabric, but I don't know. I like want to use it because I mean, this is a great color. I don't know. We'll see. I do have the DMC um, right here. So I'm going to stitch it in the DMC. So the only, obviously all the other colors are going to pop on this fabric. The only thing I'm worried about is um, this black, obviously. So yeah, that would be, it would be a subtle, you can barely see that. And I'm like putting it to the light too. I may have to swap this out, but like I'm not willing to let go of the idea yet. So I will <laughs> keep this fabric with this and maybe one day I'll get my hands on the called for and then I will use this um, ashes to ashes fabric for another project because I have nothing if not a billion patterns that are supposed to go on dark fabric. Um, so that will not be a problem to find a project for that. This is my next one. Speaking of Fox and Rabbit, this is, um, a Fox and Rabbit sampler called Margaret Felicia Dyson, 1848. Um, I bought this because obviously this is crazy funky florals. Um, I feel like I should say like Tiger Lily Design TM, like patented. Um, if you want to see this piece almost finished, um, Carrie from Tiger Lily Designs here on Floss Tube is very close to a finish on this. So I believe 
um, she is bringing it to StitchCon. So anyways, I have this fully kitted. Um, I will be stitching this in the DMC, which is are these crazy colors. I did swap out one of the called for, which was this yellow, and I subbed it for that bright orange because I'm more of an orange person than a yellow person. And I am going to stitch it with the Stitch Me's um, Fabric of the Month in Flan, which I know is crazy, but it's not. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Stop. It's not. It's, it's going to be gorgeous. I actually am very excited to start this, but again, I don't have any imminent plans to start it. I was um, inspired to purchase this by Michelle Bendy. Um, she did it on Fiber on a Whim lipstick fabric. And that was something slight. Um, but this is the pattern. It's called Needles Dance and it's by, it's a collaborative um, effort from Ink Circles, Hands-On Design, and Summer House Stitchworks. So you can do it in like, I guess this is the same colorway, but it's just on different fabric. But the blue is, it is something. I really do like it. I mean, I definitely just want to do it on like a very colorful fabric, um, period. I have some of the classic color works, but I purchased the classic color works thinking like, oh, okay, cool. Like I'll just kit it up. And they're very like muted for what this is giving. And I don't know if it's just like, maybe it's, I don't know. I don't know if I'm missing something, but um, I'm gonna stitch this on 40 count um, Castle in the Sky linen by Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers, because that's kind of perfect. And I didn't know what the heck I was gonna do with this blue fabric anyways, because again, like I'm not that much of a blue person, but these threads on this doesn't make sense. And I am really, truly considering just pulling my own DMC for this. I really want to make sure that it is bright and like, I want it to look like Fern Gully. Like I want it to be like on this darker blue background with like almost where it looks like the stitches are almost glowing. That's what I want it to look like. So. I may de-kit just this part and pull my own um, DMC for this. This is Haunted House Manor by Artful Offerings. And I've seen this stitched up. I wanna say Nightmare Before Stitch Miss has stitched this up or maybe it's a whip, I can't remember. Um, but I have some 310 in there. And I wanna stitch this on Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers, April Showers Bring May Flowers, because to me, this is a Halloween fabric. This is Nightmare Before Christmas, pink and purple and yellow and like, I don't know. It's just very, this is Halloween to me. This does not scream like spring at all to me and florals. I would say like, I, I'm sure a fancy lady would look great on this as well, but for me, this is what's happening. So I'm gonna stitch this. And then I also picked up this at Expo. And it's like of the same vibe. So I think I will use the same fabric. And this is from Putini Putini Boo to You. So I think, again, like that's going on there. And I'll just, like, they'll be kind of little, they weren't meant to be, but they're gonna be little, like, companion pieces with this fabric so that is how I feel I do love a monochromatic stitch so I know that once I get started on either of these it will be um it'll be a nice peaceful stitch so okay my next project oh my gosh okay so if you are familiar with D and Kari um Uncanny Kari they put on a spring fling. They've done it, I think, only for two years, possibly. So um, not this year, but last year they did their first one. And I was not quick enough and also not confident enough to purchase one of the spring fling um, spots because it's like a digital retreat. 
um, and you get a pattern um, designed by them and some little goodies. Well, I saw the reveal of the patterns. They do one bigger one and then one small one, like companion piece. And I was like, that was made for me and I need it. And I'm so upset that I don't have that in my hands right now. And of course you're, you're like Cameron, you're, this is a kit parade. You haven't even started it and you'd be correct. So as soon as they were available, I believe, um, on Brennan Needles, um, website, this was, I think before they like released, released it. Um, I purchased both patterns, the fabric and the floss. So this is Iron Maiden by Dean Kari. Oh, I love it so much. And it's, I know why I haven't started it is because I love it so much that I just want to stare at it and I want to stare at the fabric and I want to stare at the floss and I, but I do have plans for this. So, um, not imminent, but my birthday is in, um, at the end of September. So I think for me, this will be like, of course, anybody can join me and I'm sure I'll talk about it closer to the day, but I think this is going to be my birthday start because I need it. So this is the bigger one. Um, and then this is the smaller pattern called don't touch me. <laughs> And the, the lace finish, like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? The lace is happening. I will be finishing them the exact same way. And I will be using lace. And no one can stop me. I am so, like, I'm literally salivating over this. And I, anyways, I will start it in September. Okay, so... This is the called for um, linen by Brennan Needle. This is 36 count fizzy pop. And you would be correct, you, Cameron, that that fabric is so you. I love the splotches. Like it's very, it looks, it's, it makes sense. Like it's just so good. And then these are all of the Brennan Needle um, called for flosses. This speckled one, mm, I, yeah, it's, these are all like seriously so gorgeous. Yep. So that'll be that this will be a start and it will be, I don't know if I want to start Iron Maiden first or don't touch me first. I kind of want to start her first because, but anyway, so that is, happening this is hannah dawson 1831 and i really really like the colors on this one i will not be changing the colors i am stitching in the called for dmc yeah it's happening um i my sister's name is hannah so i'm probably gonna go ahead and put her last name our last name in place of this Luckily, it starts with a D, so it won't be too hard. Um, and it's the same amount of letters. So, like, I'm I'm golden <laughs> for recharting the last name. But, and even if she doesn't want this, I'm still going to put her name on it and hang it up in my house. I don't really care. My house. Like, I'm never going to have one of those. The economy. All right, um, I am gonna stitch this on some 40 count Be Stitch Me um, linen. And I just, no, not just. This was last month's, I think. It's called Grog. And that's what I have. I may not like this. We'll see, I don't know. I did a floss toss and I wasn't mad about it. So I know it's like definitely lighter. The called for is paper bark so we'll see so i think the most concerning one was this one and now that i'm looking at it i'm like that's actually perfect because if i had any lighter fabric i think that'd be a problem so yeah so this one i have shown on my channel semi recently um i am a patron of the witchy stitcher and i was able to snag one of these all tricks no nope all treats no tricks um cross stitch kits this was a collab with the witchy stitcher 
Fox and Rabbit and Cottage Garden Threads. So, photo of it close up. It's so pretty. I do want to start. This would be a very easy stitch. Um, so, this is stitched with 28 count or 32 count um, Fox and Rabbit linen and fossil. So that's really murky. You know what this would be great for? That Witch Training Academy. If I can't get my hands on the called for Fox and Rabbit, I would sub it out for this Fox and Rabbit. I don't know, maybe that's still too dark. But anyway, so that's the fabric for that. And then I'll show you the, and it came with like stickers and like a bunch of goodies, but um, it came with this thread drop thread card holder and these are the cottage garden threads I went ahead and put them all on here so that it'll just be ready for me to start it um yeah I may start this before Halloween we'll see so the next um kitted project I have I also kitted this up at that LNS last year at the beach um and I really I don't know, I was just drawn to this. This is the Drawn Thread um, Little Bits of Halloween. So the cool thing about this chart is obviously you see some options on the front here. And like, here's a close up of the long one. I really love this long one and I do wanna do that. However, I have enough fabric to do, I think all of them, but we'll see how I feel. So basically the chart does have this square one like fully charted in the back but for this and for this it has it mocked up for you but it actually has individual charts that look like this so you can piece it together how you want so you can literally put like the h in and then you can pick you know this hat to go um next to the h instead of the cat and the ghost and then you do your a and then you pick you can pick whatever you want it's completely mix and match um so I kitted this up there with the called for, I think it calls for either dinky dyes or over dyes, which were gentle arts. So here are the over dyes and then it calls for two DMC, which I also just pick up, picked up there. So those are the over dyes. And then I have this hunking yard of a fabric, mystery fabric. Don't know what count it is. Don't know what color it is. Don't know what dyer it is but um it looks like it's probably 36 count maybe a 38 it's looking no 36 i don't know who cares anyways it is huge um this is i'm not gonna f unfold the whole thing but anyways it unfolds another time so this is a whole yard of fabric, so I have enough to do like the long, um, the long one. I have enough to do little ornaments. I have enough to do another, the square piece if I wanted to. So that's good. However, I'm thinking I do have these two patterns by Not Forgotten Farm that I picked up semi-recently. Um, and I think these guys would be great on this linen. So I think I'm definitely gonna save some cuts of this for these two. I don't wanna take her out of the package because I don't feel like it, but yeah. So I have stuck these, um, uh, this raven and this crow with this fabric, just as a reminder to myself that, hey, you wanna use that for that. Okay, so my next kitted up project I have is from this past Nashville market. This is January Willow Sampler by Bendy Stitchy. It's so pretty, I love it. The Weeping Willow, this huge flower pot that's bigger than the house, that's a checkerboard house, it's everything. So I'm really excited to, I was excited to get this because I was like, that is an incredible stash buster. The call for colors are amazing and gorgeous. Um, but, and they're all gentle arts. So it's just four colors of gentle arts that you could pick up. Very easy to kit. Um, but I went through my stash because I'm a stash diver and I picked out four colors that are close to what she called for. So in the same, 
theme and the same color theme here. So I'm going to stitch this on some 40 count, my cat is trying to play with that, 40 count flax linen, which is really close to the called for. I think um, Michelle stitched this on 25 count raw natural linen from Zweigart. So this is not far off. So this was perfect. And then I am going to stitch this with some three color and cottons and one classic color works. So this is what I'm going for. So I picked out clay pot from classic color works for the roof and this detail and the windows and all that good stuff. I picked out um, a nice creamy white color called Chantilly Lace by Color and Cotton. And then I have Black Walnut as the dark. I think it's a dark green that's called for, but I like this brown. And then this blue. I actually just got this in my Color and Cotton for this month, so... I can never, like, keep those together to show y'all in haul because, like, I'm immediately stash diving and I'm like, oh, where can I put this? Because I love to be economical. This is a Year in the Woods number 10. This is the Little Brown Bat. Obviously, I had to pick this one up. So, um, this is, I think, so it's DMC and then two overdides. So I picked out one of uh, the overdides from my stash. This is Sugar Maple, which is gonna be quite literally perfect for the body of that bat. And then I think I'm gonna stitch this on a picture this plus 40 count in Ancient. I have a leftover cut from the Strawberry Bird pattern by Cottage Garden. So I think that'll look good on there. The next project I have partially kitted up. This is the Charming Cow Sampler by Little Robin Designs. I think this is really, really cute. I love the colors in it. So I have picked up all of the DMC partially um, <laughs> floss dropped. Um, but I don't have a fabric in mind for this. Um, and I think that's just going to come with time and like stash building and like, I'm not drawn to this right now to like go buy fabric for it and kit it up and have it ready to go because I don't know this one. I really like it, but like I have other things I want to start sooner. So I'm going to not buy fabric for this anytime soon but if something comes in like one of my fabric of the months and it's perfect then boom it goes in it goes in there so the next project i've kitted up i just recently purchased this pattern um from fat quarter shop just kind of threw it into my cart this is i will poke you by lucy beam and it's really cute this is a great stash buster and so i went into my like leftover cuts of fabric and I do, this is dark, but that means I'm just gonna like brighten up the floss. So this was from like one of the Starlight Stitchery boxes and I already stitched Michelle Bendy's pendulum board on the other piece of this. So I think I'll definitely pick out this like funky cut here with this like splotch of yellow. Um, and I will stitch this on there with just like whatever I want. This is um, the Birdman, Birdman Cometh by Little Robin Designs. I got this at market and I'm obsessed with it. I don't have fabric for this yet. I'm not gonna stitch it on the called for. I'm thinking possibly lipstick by Fiber on a Whim, dare I say. Or I think Wrath from Fox and Rabbit might be. But they're also really bright. I don't know, I'd have to see them in person. Also, like, if I purchase one of those and it doesn't work for this, like, I'm not going to use a lip, like, lipstick or wrath. Like, I'm going to use it. But anyways, so I pulled three um, threads from Stash because this calls for a lot of floss I don't use. Um, but honestly, I have looked far and wide for a hot pink variegated floss. There might be a Threadworks one that might work, but like I kind of like this is I've decided I'm just going to use the DMC. So I'm going to end up using the DMC for everything except the birds, these purple leaves and this blue um, variegation. Everything else will be DMC. 
and I already have that kitted up. So I just have to pull the DMC and then get some fabric and it's ready to go. So this is another um, pattern that I have slightly kitted up. This is Not Forgotten Farm. Um, what is this called? Weep Not. And it's adorable. I don't have any threads. It just, it calls for DMC. So that'll be very easy to kit up. But I went ahead and crack again. I looked at like, sorry. I looked at leftover cuts of stuff I had. And this is actually from my haunted library, not haunted library. Oh my God. Greenhouse of Oddities stitch along that I'm using. This is 32 count Timberwolf by Seraphim. And I'm thinking that this might be perfect for this. I think everything will pop. I think her especially will pop. And I want this ghost of a woman to pop on this fabric. So yeah. So all I have to do is pull threads and then, I also need to measure this and make sure it's big enough, but I think it'll be big enough. So this one is called Spring Pendrum by Kathy Barrick. I really don't wanna take this out of the plastic, but um, I kitted this up a long time ago with the called for threads, which I don't use anymore. However, I've already purchased them. It's what it is. So I will be using the called for, um, I think it calls for platinum linen, which is fantastic. I do have a cut of that in 40 count, but I don't know if I want to stitch this in 40 count or 36 count. Cause I have, I want to stitch all of the, the pin drums that she's designed. So I want them to be all the same size. We'll see. I might do 40 count. I might do 40 count. So that is, um, Oh my God, my cat wants to get on everything right now. She's so excited that all there's just so many things to lay on. All right, speaking of pin drums, this is the Summer Pin Drum by Kathy Barrick. Um, I will be subbing out the yellow in this girl's dress. I, I am, I will be honestly, I will be stitching her a pink dress. Cause that's what I, I'd be wearing. Ooh, a pink and green dress or a pink and orange dress. I'll have to think on that one. But anyways, so I'll definitely be also subbing out this thread, um, but I do like all the other colors. I went ahead and picked out a color and cotton red variegated floss for that huge tomato there, um, just to get some variegation in that. But yeah, so that one is semi kitted up. Um, let's see. I have, this is Boo Hoo by Luminous Fiber Arts. These are so cute. I love the way they're finished. Um, and I do, I mean, obviously I'm just going to stitch these in 310. And then the called for is, uh, again, a thread I don't use. So I have this color and cotton thread in Kumquat, which I just love the name of it too. So anyways, I think it's perfect. So I kind of just have this folded up in there. <laughs> um, not the best system, but whatever. Then I have Winter Garden by Hello from Liz Matthews. This is so pretty. And I have this pretty much all kitted up with color and cotton threads and a DMC here. I think this called for silks, Gloriana silks. Um, which obviously really hard to get a hold of anyway. So I just pulled from stash. This would be, I don't have fabric for it, but this would be a very easy start. Honestly, I could just tea dye some linen that I already have. And that would be like ready to go if I was really in the mood for that. All right. The other ones I have, I do have all of the, I think I have all of them. All of the, um, Christmas, uh, day of christmas patterns by hello from liz matthews i only have three of them like physically the rest of them are pdfs so this is the sixth day of christmas i don't have any threads or anything i have the seventh day of christmas which because there's this huge block of stitching i did actually pull a color and cotton for that one get some variegation in there and then i'll just pull the dmc for the rest of it and then this was her most recent eighth day of Christmas. I am stitching all of the trees and I'm gonna be doing them all on 36 count. 
and I think I am possibly I'm gonna finish them like as obviously trees like the triangle um but I may also finish the bottom and then like hang them up together as like a garland those are my thoughts will it happen one day not today though okay so that was oh okay so now I just kind of have some pattern stash for you um so I won this from uh Tiger Lily Designs <laughs> before I started my channel um this is Heartstring Samplery Festive Little Fobs Harvest Edition so it's like a mixture of like fall Thanksgiving Halloween like very these are great like again pick out a scrap of fabric stitch a bunch of these fully finish them and you're ready to go. So I have that just sitting by the wayside. In the same vein, I have um, some quirky Quakers. I only have three, but I want to collect them all. So this is the first one I purchased. This was uh, quirky Quaker number three, the bat. And again, I'm just going to be, these will be saved for ornament cuts of fabric and stash of thread. This one is the penguin, penguin, very cute. And then this is the reindeer. I do love the reindeer on this brown fabric, which I have like plenty of brown fabric, so that won't be a problem. But yeah, those are just some little patterns I have. And then I have, this is Kathy Barrick's Bearing Gifts. The picture of it, I feel like doesn't do it justice. Um, I'm this is a great stash buster again like seriously I'm just gonna look at the picture and just like throw <laughs> like some DMC in there maybe an over dyed for her dress because that would be pretty iconic well it would be the over dyed would go in the strawberry the house and her dress because that's all the same color so I might do that but again this is gonna go on like a leftover piece of fabric and it's gonna be a stash buster and it's very cute I love the strawberry. Um, this is the Stitch Witch by Tiny Modernist. I have no thoughts on this one in terms of like, I this could really go on any fabric. It's mostly DMC 310. So um, just keeping that in mind, it can go on like lots of different fabrics. I do have, um, let's see. I don't know. I have like... I do have this. This might be too dark. This is Coco by Fiber on a Whim. I don't know. I kind of just want to keep it like on a raw linen. I think that would be perfectly adequate. And she's very cute. So yeah, no plans for this yet, but it's, it's there. So before I was friends with Megan, the Seattle Stitcher, I watched her channel and I was a big fan. Um, I looked at, I watched her channel and I was like, I want to be friends with her. And then it happened, guys. I manifested it. No, anyways, so she picked these up. This is Laddie and Lacey by Leisure Art. These are out of print. I purchased this, these both on eBay. Um, they're creepy Victorian children. And I really do want to stitch them. My one hang up is um, the pattern itself. I'm not going to be able to like mark on because it's a color pattern. I also don't want to mark on this, but I don't have access to like a scanner or a printer copier of any kind. So, um, it's just going to be kind of a bitch to try to stitch these. So I'm going to figure something out. I could, um, take a picture of them and try to upload them to markup, but that sounds like a nightmare. So I have thoughts i don't know if i want to stitch these on super dark fabric now i could stitch them on that ashes to ashes fabric but i also have like they could go on a purple they could have a purple moment or i have this purple those are they it's almost look the same but they're not um i have again i mean i have like that cocoa, they could go on, that'd be boring. That'd be too beige. I don't know. I do have this earth, just like super dark brown. 
I don't know, I kind of, like, I want to do it on, like, a really smoky dark gray. We'll see. Again, these are, like, they're not even really ready to go for me mentally, so I'm, I'll think on that. I don't know if I love the purple now that I've put that on there, but. All right, the next pattern I have that's kind of just sitting there waiting for me to get it up is Strawberry Fair by October House uh, Fiber Arts. My aunt has actually finished this and um, it looks, it's very pretty. I saw it in person. So again though, like this is so small that I kind of just want to wait till I have like an ornament cut of whatever fabric. So, and I'm just going to stitch this in the DMC for sure. I will not be purchasing a bunch of overdies for this so so that's that okay this one I think it's out of print um this is Quaker Halloween sampler by cherished stitches this was released in 2009 um yeah and do I have enough Quakers going on absolutely now, the picture makes it look like this is all stitched in one color. It's not. It's, um, I think one, two, three, four, five. I think it's five colors. Couldn't tell you where the five colors are. I mean, seriously, I really don't know, but um I love I really love this pattern so I don't know if I will stitch it or start it anytime soon it is out of print um I don't know and I don't know what colors I want to stitch it in I kind of don't know if I want to do all black or like a lot of it looks um looking I can kind of see the difference I think a lot of it is in like navy blue like a purpley navy blue black I do see a green in there somewhere I would definitely like change up the colors a bunch I think or just do it all in like one thread um color of silk and call it a day I definitely would want to stitch this in silks for sure because it feels fancy um, this was a, I don't know if it's out of print, but I picked this up on a D stash. This is Cinnamon Stick Santa, uh, 18, number 18, Wishing the Merriness. I picked it up from a D stash. It was like a couple bucks and his face, I'm not a huge Christmas stitcher, but his face, he's so tired and he's tired of y'all and he's tired of your kids. <laughs> I don't know. It's just really cute. Um, it calls for like a bunch of um, overdives and also some whisper thread. I did pick up the whisper thread on like a one, two, three stitch order a long time ago. So I'll, I'll use the whisper thread, but I uh, the rest of it, DMC. That's, that's happening. Okay. I also have some of the anniversaries of the heart patterns by Blackbird Designs. This is number one, Snow Garden. I have not decided if I want to stitch this all on one piece, because that's going to be huge, or if I want to stitch these individually. So I definitely will just be stitching them from stash, because these are great. Like, to me, they're small enough and easy enough to just pull threads. Um, this is number two, Valentine Rose. I also don't have enough people to put names in here. Like, honestly, I'm so sorry. I just don't. This one doesn't, oh, this one does have initials. Like, do I just put my own name and my own initials and everything? That sounds a little cuckoo, but I have a sister that I do like. And I have a dad that I like, and I have a partner that I like. I have friends, guys. I do. I have friends. But I don't know. It feels like really like serious to put like stitch a friend's name in here. I don't know. Um, This one is number three, A Wish For You. I really like the house on this one. And then number four might be my favorite. This is Pink Hill Manor. 
I actually think I would definitely put my grandma's name in this one because she loved pink just like me. And she was iconic. So I will probably definitely put her name on this one. But anyways, so I only have four of them, but I will eventually collect them all and eventually maybe start them on all one piece or individually. We'll see. Alrighty, I'm winding down here. Okay, the rest of them I have are just like vintage stitching, like charts. This one's Becky Boo's Bring In Spooky Treats that I picked up from a D-Stash and it came with the garland. I don't know when I'm ever gonna stitch this. I also don't have the buttons like that it calls for. So I don't know, we'll see. I kind of threw it in for some reason. Um, I also have this, these ragdoll friends because I'm obsessed with um, Raggedy Ann and Andy. But again, will I ever stitch any of these? I don't know, but I love having this. And then this, I will be stitching patterns from this. This is the Country Cupboard book. And I've got a little Campbell's Kid, Campbell's Soup pattern, and then another, another Campbell's Kid. I'm obsessed with Campbell's um, kids. That sounds weird. I'm obsessed with the vintage Campbell kid um, mugs and anything I can get my hands on at an antique or thrift store. So that is it for my kit parade. Um, I'm not going to take you through my digital patterns because we'd be here for five more years. But um, I will say, I just want to like say off the top of my head, the majority of my digital patterns are by very, like a select number of designers that are some of my favorite designers I'm patrons of, etc. So definitely Meg from the Witchy Stitcher. Um, I have probably almost 20 of her patterns um, in digital form. Um, Sage from Night Spirit Studio, I again probably have about half her catalog. Um, and I will be making an Instagram post uh coming up as well um <clears throat> about sage and um night spirit studio and and stitching for sage um i don't have all the details on me right now but basically i want to encourage you guys to go check out night spirit studio um sage has been battling with cancer and um has recently undergone brain surgery she is out um, and she is she is okay, she's recovering, but um, me and a couple of floss tube friends, um, we want to encourage everyone to go check out her patterns on her website, her Etsy, um, and buy some PDF patterns. Like, first of all, it's an excuse for those of you that love Night Spirit Studio and have some things on your wish list, like, if you can like go and get some of those patterns that have been on your wish list. I know I went through and I was like, I own most of these. Um, I think a lot of us want to start stitching one of her woodcuts. I own all of her woodcuts and I have started one already. So I may stitch on that one. I may pick another pattern to start. Um, but I will have all the details on that Instagram post and yeah, so I purchased two more patterns from her, um, and I'll talk about that in another floss tube update, but I just want to say that, like, definitely look out for that. Go check her out, purchase some PDF patterns, and support um, Sage. Um, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to stick around and uh, see more content from me, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, comment down below. Do you have any of these patterns that you were like, Cameron, I want to start one of those and will you start it with me? I am very easily inspired and encouraged to um, do that with people. So I, I love a start along. I really do. Hello, everyone. So I said in my outro that I will be gone next week. That's not, that's not the truth. So I'll actually be here and I will um, be filming a regular floss tube update next week. So mid-year whip parade will come out the following week and I will um, pre-record that next week. So ignore what I said 
And yeah, this is the aftermath of filming. <laughs> she is tired of me talking. So anyways, this is my sign off. I will definitely see you guys next week for a regular floss tube update. And then I will um, release the mid-year whip parade. So anyways, hope you guys have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good month. Yeah, all the things. Bye.